Only 24% three-point shooter on the season. Fournier, who did not play in the fourth quarter of their loss on Monday, in part because of the great play of Quentin Grimes, the rookie, came off the bench, put up good numbers. Kemba Walker's been in and out of the lineup because of injury and out of the rotation. And a turnover there. And they fit. They fit well together. Step back, Kemba. No good. And out of bio controls underneath. He got back in the starting lineup and played. And his shooting was enough. Next 13th in the NBA in defense. Big reason why they made the playoffs last year. Great team defense a year ago. Randall from the corner. Step back three. Off target. Batted around. Out of bio under the rebound. Play so well together. They're all tough, scrappy. Here's Walker over Tucker. Misfires again. Playing just his 30th game. He missed three weeks due to an ankle injury, having another terrific season. 21 points per game, six boards, six assists. Randall traveled on the baseline. That's great help by Jimmy Butler. His fourth NBA season, 23 years old. Barrett, we talked about his numbers in January. Good defense by Adebayo. I just love watching this Miami team compete. Good block by Adebayo. All three-point shooting this year, 46%. He's having a great, great year. What a pickup, too. He's so important for Milwaukee defensively in the postseason last year. Now he'll be the one that's guarding the Bucks if these two teams should meet in the playoffs. All five of my starters out because it's nearly impossible to figure out who's most at fault for this. Collision underneath as Fournier missed and a foul is called. Tom Thibodeau told us before the game, Julius Randle's at his best when he's attacking. Throughout their starting team, there's other than their centers, and they, they rotate because they played well in January, but before that, he had really struggled as well. Barrett misses the corner three. But well, you know how when you would walk through the hallway when you used to play against your brother and the Heat in, in the heyday of Knicks Heat, and you guys wouldn't talk to each other? Samson at Houston, he lives that Houston, University of Houston mentality. Everybody knows to say it's important to you, but to find the guys who aren't frauds, that truly care about getting better teams winning and playing unselfish, agenda-free basketball. Shot clock at four. Barrett trying to drive on Butler. Good defense in the half court. Here's Grimes. This is the three. Deadman gets the defensive board. Quickly's pass deflected, but it ends up in the hands of Grimes. No good that time, but a second chance opportunity. Burks can't pay it off. And Hero with the rebound. Ahead to Burks. Great transition layup, but he missed it. He has true confidence in who he is as a basketball player, separate of whether he starts or comes off the bench. Guys. 13th pick in 2019 out of Kentucky as Grimes misfires on the three. Hero gets the rebound. Of the score down here, but Hero, I... I there's not too many more complete offensive players from a scoring standpoint in the league. It's really going to be interesting to see where he goes in the next couple of years because he's already really good as quickly loses his footing. How much better can Hero get? I mean, look at a hustle there. Shot clock violation. And that was a great read by Robinson. They were trying to throw it into the post. You know, I mean, <laughs> but, I, but they do everything well, and that's what I have great respect for. Charlie Ward on his head. Yeah, we had a disagreement on who started it and how it ended as Grimes hustles for a second shot. And a turnover. History passing LeBron James in his third year with Miami. Setting it is causing them problems. A beautiful find by Butler. Six straight points for the Heat. Steal by Butler, and then R.J. Barrett commits his third foul. Want to put in the time to get better, who are willing to do the work that it takes to improve in the NBA. Robinson picked up his third foul. Again, just 14 games played with Butler, Adebayo, and Lowry together. Lowry out again because of personal reasons tonight. Seven times this quarter, yet... They're holding the Knicks to 36 points for the game. And they've extended their lead. Knicks cut it to 10 at 44-34, so a 10-2 run right now. Shot clock at 5. Fournier, step back, short. Well, it's not close. 
Now they're really just such a well put together team. Randall, just two for six, four points in the game. They got it down. So points in the paint first. Knicks are in Milwaukee on Friday. They've lost four of their last five. They're two games under 500. Belichick always says, you're building a team. Fournier called for traveling for what Miami does and their culture. Randall for three, way off for sure. Well, they surround. Adebayo's not a range shooter. Butler's not a range shooter. Everybody else is. One per game. Missed 18 games this season. Missed 20 last year due to injury. Randall, corner three. That one rattles out. Saw it. I don't think Goble saw that it was out of bio and uh, pointed it out that it was him and called the technical. Here's Kemba Walker from deep. Front rim, no. And Butler out of there with it. 21. RJ Barrett, 17 points and nine shots, but a turnover there. Out of bio gets the steal. Ahead to Vincent. Puts it on the floor and flips it up and in with a finger roll. More, go to NBA.com or visit the NBA app. Turnover again by the Knicks out of a timeout. Butler. And good play by Barrett to read that to get the steal. Barrett missed the shot. Out of bounds. Hopeful to get Derrick Rose back at some point. He's been out with an ankle injury. We won't go. Contact underneath. Hero is trying to take away the left hand of Barrett. Here's Randall driving. Tried to feed it underneath and turned it over. They just have a relentless makeup. Tucker thought he was shoved by Randall, but played in one game, five minutes against the Clippers on Sunday. Started seven games for Atlanta. Averaged 12 points per game. Atlanta's the team that beat the Knicks in the playoffs last year. Reddish missed a good part of last year due to injury. Never hit the rim, so the shot clock is three. Burke's no good. Wow, Grimes up high. What a play to save that after he had the one-hand rebound. Devin almost did the same thing. Nick shooting under 40%, while Miami is close to 60% from the floor. Less than a minute to go. Good ball movement. Burks driving. Working around it quickly. Fires underneath to Burks, but he missed it. Here's Burks for three. No good. And nice play by Vincent. Milwaukee Friday. They have two home games, and then it's a five-game West Coast road trip. So you think about that five minutes and 15 seconds going back to the end of the third quarter for Miami with, without a field goal. They didn't have a basket this quarter. This Radish misfires. Rebounded by Hero. Eight games. Topping couldn't finish on the other end. Quickly in transition, blocked by Mark. And that's why young players, like they need to understand someone's always watching. I love what the Knicks did in the draft. With the heels, that's what Miami did to start the game. I mean, the Knicks didn't know what hit them. You see Julius Randle, their uh, best offensive player in terms of points per game, back on his heels. He couldn't get into any kind of offensive flow. Uh, Barrett. Uh, was really the only one making any plays, but they made it tough for him, too. Uh, if they did get beat, they rotated well, took charges. The rotations were there. They were able to close possession uh, by forcing turnovers or getting defensive rebounds. It was it was a really strong performance throughout the game. But that first quarter and then coming out in the third quarter, setting the tone, really put the game out of reach again for the Knicks. So what a quality performance uh, getting their fans involved defensively forcing 18 turnovers holding the Knicks to 42% shooting.